The immense concentration of atomic energy has made possible other developments whose immediate results have been less happy and which have faced a fall of fear over the peoples of the world. I refer, of course, to the development of atomic and hydrogen bombs. A widespread atomic power industry in the world will necessitate an international society in which the major states have agreed to maintain peace. Such words can't come from a man short of futuristic mindset. Clearly, he wishes to see his nation as a competent one in the advanced developed world. We are talking about the man who was the architect of India's nuclear energy program, also widely regarded as father of the Indian nuclear program, Dr. Homi Jahangir Bhabha. Dr. Homi Jahangir Baba was an Indian physicist and founder of two institutions that led to immense growth in the field of research namely Tata Institute of Fundamental Research and Baba Atomic Research Center. Baba is credited for a strategy which was completely different from entire world. Baba ne ek aisi strategy formulate karne pe focus kiya jisse uranium ki jagah thorium se energy nikali ja sake. Ye karna hamare liye bahut zyada beneficial tha kyunki India mein as compared to uranium thorium ke reserves kafi zyada hain. In just 6 minutes we'll tell you the story about Dr. Homi Jahangir Baba but before proceeding please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already you can also press the bell icon for regular updates Dr. Baba was born on 30th October 1909 in a very wealthy Parsi family in Mumbai in the year 1927 he went to Cambridge University to pursue mechanical engineering this was insisted by his father and his uncle Dorabji Tata who wanted him to join Tata Steel once he gets his degree however Baba was quickly drawn towards physics and this is what he wrote to his father I seriously say to you that business or job as an engineer is not the thing for me it is totally foreign to my nature and radically opposed to my temperament and opinions physics is my line i know i shall do great things here for each man can do best and excel in only one thing of which he is passionately fond in which he believes as i do that he has the ability to do it that he is in fact born and destined to do it I am burning with a desire to do physics. I will and I must do it sometime. It is my only ambition. I have no desire to be a successful man or the head of a big firm. There are intelligent people who like that and let them do it. Consequently, Baba received his doctorate in the year 1934 after he published his first scientific paper titled The Absorption of Cosmic Radiation. Next year in 1935 Baba published another paper explaining the cross section of electron positron scattering. This was named Baba scattering in his honor. While he was a student he also worked with Niels Bohr a Nobel prize winner in physics. In the year 1939 Dr Baba was on his annual vacation in India when World War 2 broke out. Due to the war he could not go back to Cambridge and he was approached by a Nobel laureate C V Raman to join Indian Institute of Sciences in Bangalore as a reader in physics. During this time Baba tried to convince a lot of congress leaders especially Pandit Nehru to start India's own nuclear program. Baba also wrote a letter to Tata Trust to convince them of requirement of facilities for working with cosmic rays nuclear physics and high energy physics this is a part of what he wrote when nuclear energy has been successfully applied for power production in say a couple of decades from now india will not have to look abroad for its experts but will find them ready at hand the trust decided to fund and accepted baba's proposal as a result of which tata institute of fundamental research was established in june 1945 in bombay Dr Baba was able to successfully establish the Atomic Energy Commission in India in 1948 and served as its first chairman. He wrote a letter to Pandit Nehru arguing that within the next couple of decades atomic energy would play an important part in the economy and the industry of countries and that if India did not wish to fall even further behind industrially advanced countries of the world it would be necessary to develop this branch of science. Pandit Nehru appointed Baba as the director of nuclear program in 1945 Baba founded a nuclear research center at Trombe called Atomic Energy Establishment. Even though Baba was strongly in support of nuclear energy, yet he organized the first UN conference on peaceful uses of atomic energy in Geneva in the year 1955. The immense concentration of atomic energy has made possible other developments whose immediate results have been less happy and which have faced a pall of fear over the peoples of the world. I refer of course to the development of atomic and hydrogen bombs. A widespread atomic power industry in the world will necessitate an international society in which the major states have agreed to maintain peace. It was after the Indian Sino war that Baba started to aggressively promote the need of nuclear weapons. Baba's many contributions include Compton scattering, Baba scattering and R process. 
Apart from being a scientist, Bhabha was a huge admirer of arts. He loved opera music and he was also a painter. Dr. Bhabha had several awards to his name including Fellow of the Royal Society, Adams Prize and Padma Bhushan. January 1966 mein Bhabha International Atomic Energy Agency ki ek meeting attend karne ke liye Vienna ja rahe the. Unfortunately, unka plane Mont Blanc ke paas mein crash ho gaya aur humne ek aise scientist ko kho diya jinhone India ke nuclear program ko ek alag hi level par pahuncha diya tha. There are several theories for the crash. The official reason stated was that there was a miscommunication between the Geneva airport and the pilot about the position of the aircraft near the mountain whereas there is another theory according to which CIA was involved motive was to paralyze the India's nuclear program as per the book conversations with the crow by a journalist named Gregory Douglas a former CIA operative Robert Crowley implied the CIA was responsible for assassinating Dr Bhabha the crow reportedly said that a bomb in the cargo section of the plane exploded mid air because of which commercial Boeing 707 crashed whether it was a conspiracy we are not to tell but one thing is for sure dr bhabha's loss did impact the indian nuclear program after his death dr sarabhai took charge as the chairman of the atomic energy commission of india the atomic energy establishment at mumbai was renamed as the bhabha atomic research center in his honor bhabha's bungalow named mehrangir at malabar hills was auctioned at rupees 372 crores and the owner smita krishna godrej of the godrej group demolished it in the year 2016 despite some efforts to preserve the property as a memorial A web series named Rocket Boys has been released on Sony Live where Jim Serb can be seen playing Dr. Homi Bhabha's role. Thanks for watching our video till the end. If you liked our video, please don't forget to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to our channel for more such content.